So it's been one week since I've been back from Uganda and so much has happened. I started my new internship um, and it's great. The first few days were not so great because while well, I had to read a lot of papers and like get familiar with stuff, but then the last few days I was using, uh, like they have this Python code that they want integrated over to MATLAB and I've never used Python before. But basically, yeah, I read the Python code. It's not so difficult once you start, like once you start reading it and you figure out all the functions and stuff like that, like how everything is just like the syntax. Yeah, I started integrating it over to MATLAB and I checked the results from the Py from Python and then from MATLAB and my results match. So that means I did a good job. So next week I'm just going to make the code more robust so that it could work for n variables because right now it just works for three. I'm also going to spend the day working on my master's thesis presentation, which is next Friday. So that's what I have to do all day today. It was International Women's Day. Uh, two days ago, it's Saturday, um, so on Thursday. And, you know, I was feeling really discouraged because my subscriber, like my percentage of subscribers were 40% female and I thought that was really good. And then since I came back from Uganda and I grew by 2,000 subscribers, my it's down to 17%. Well, wait, what was it? Yeah, so it's like half of what it was, so 17% female subscribers, which made me really sad. So I think it would be really cool if everyone that's watching this vlog, if you like this channel, to just send it to a female friend that you think would like it. Like someone that's considering engineering or that's in sciences or like anyone, any woman in STEM or any woman that's thinking about going to STEM. If you can send them the like channel and be like maybe your favorite video or whatever, I would really appreciate that. You know those days when you just wanna scroll through YouTube and not do any work? Yeah. I'm having one of those days just working on my master's thesis presentation. There it is. I don't think I can show you these slides, but basically, yeah, now I'm going to practice. Hopefully, <laughs> I mean, I have 21 slides here and the presentation has to be 20 minutes. So yeah, hopefully I can do less than a minute per slide. Guys, I'm so tired that this dead bug has been here for three days. I am uploading podcast episodes and I finished my presentation for my master's thesis, but I've only practiced it once and I haven't really practiced it like standing up. You know, I think it makes a difference. I don't know if you're like sitting and you're like, practicing like this or if you're standing up and you're doing the real deal. So I haven't technically practiced it. Uh, and my room is a mess and it bothers me so much. I'm so tired at work because of this thesis um, project that I have, like my master's thesis that I haven't finished. And additionally, it's Tuesday night and I haven't filmed a video yet. It's 10.20. I'm just trying to write a title for this latest podcast episode and I um, can't even think of it. Like, you know, I, I don't even have the words to explain how I feel right now. I'm just tired, I'm super stressed, and I don't want to film a video this Wednesday. And I know I haven't really done an Ask an Engineer question since um, the ones that I uploaded while I was in Uganda. I can't do it. Like, I can't do it tonight. I'm too tired um, and I'm too stressed and I really need to go to bed tonight because to, like I had a terrible day at my first, like I told you that I started my, my new job um, and I just had a terrible day today because I was so tired and I was just doing fluent tutorials and they're fine. I mean, obviously they're boring. You're not doing real stuff, but when you're tired and like trying to read a PDF document and just follow instructions, 
is so, so, so boring. A lot of companies where I work, you have ABB there, you have GE there. Yeah, just in Baden walking to work. Here's the GE building. It's really, really beautiful. <laughs> Looks expensive. Get this elevator. So cool. So, as we all know, despite the push for renewable energy, fossil fuels still account for more than 50% of the world's energy production. And although stricter pollutant and emissions regulations push us towards more renewable energy sources, um, fossil fuels will continue to be burned in order to meet customers' energy demands even when no renewable power is available. So state-of-the-art technology is a sequential combustor. It meets consumers' energy demands due to its high reliability, its high turndown, and its low emissions. So a modular sequential combustor was investigated in this study. The combustor consists of an upstream premix section where cold methane and air are injected. Then the mixture flows into a section of decreased outer diameter in order to accelerate the flow through a swirler, which creates a swirl-stabilized flame in the first combustion chamber. Downstream of that, dilution air is injected in order to increase the O2 concentration and the decrease the temperature of the second stage in a jet cross-flow arrangement. Then methane and propane are injected in the diluted vitated stream and two vortex generators are located just before the um, secondary fuel injection in order to increase mixing. And an auto ignition flame sits in the secondary chamber, which is stabilized due to hot gas recirculation zones, which are caused by the sudden expansion of the chamber. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope I didn't speak too quickly. Um, thank you, Professor Noire, for this project and for the ability to work in your lab. And thank you, Oliver, yeah, <laughs> for all of the work. Auntie Guan is not here. Um, anyway, thank you, and do you have any questions? Thanks.